Lucky 21. My name is Adaska and today I'm going to show you how to make summer rolls. So the first thing you're going to do is take some vermicelli or vermicelli uh, noodles and place them in water. They come in little like things like this right here. You just put them in some water, boil them. Now the instructions usually does not have the directions um, if you get it from an Asian market. But if you get it from other stores, most likely they'll have directions and you just follow them. So what I'm going to do first is slice up some romaine lettuce. You can use whatever lettuce you like. Then you're going to take a Persian cucumber and slice it. strips Let's go. I go two. Where's your bird? Take some spinach. Say spinach or the spinach, whatever you like to use in it. This is about a cup. Next, you're gonna take some mint, fresh mint leaves, and fresh cilantro or coriander leaves. I'm gonna use some shredded carrots because this is what I have and I don't feel like shredding carrots. Next, you're gonna take a lovely avocado. Get that avocado and slice it, baby. Okay, so next you are going to strain your noodles with cold water in a strainer, okay? Once they're cool, you're going to be able to add them into your um, spring rolls. And I'll show you just how to do that. Okay, so once you have your veggies all cut up like so, you are ready to prepare your spring roll. So make sure you pay attention. All right, we're gonna take this water here and we are going to dip this rice paper in there like so. We're going to loosen up, okay? Okay. So you are going to put that on there like so. Now you are going to put your lettuce down first. Put a little bit of lettuce. Put your spinach leaves, like three or so. Then you are going to put your cilantro or coriander in here. Put your cilantro or coriander. Put your mint leaves, like two mint leaves on. Okay. Now put your cucumber slice. Maybe I'll put like three. Because this is a smaller one, you don't need to overpower it and you're going to grab some of your noodles here I got the wrong noodles these are supposed to be like white so but here they are you're gonna put your noodles on top like so okay then you are going to add your avocado as a second layer. Actually, I forgot to add my carrots on here. Add the carrots. Okay. Then add your noodles. Add your avocado on there. Okay. Let's see here. 
add the avocado on there for a second layer. Then you are going to pull up your wrapping paper, okay? You're gonna wrap it over. Now when you put the noodles on top, it is actually easier to roll. So you want to roll it, roll it, then fold it, fold it, fold it over again and again. Okay, and do it like so, and do it like so. Voila, like that. Okay, very simple and easy. Now, when you're gonna put this on the side, you're going to um, add a little paper towel to keep it wet. You can put it on a plate or so, and then just keep rolling. And now it is time for the taste test. Who wants to try it with me? Who wants to try it with me? Let's see here. This is so sticky. Oh, and I just broke it apart. Oh, I'm breaking this thing apart. It's so sticky. So I'm going to dip it. I probably could have just cut it. Let's see, dip, dip, dip. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't taste bad. I actually like the salt. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, this is delicious. Now, an alternative to the peanut butter or almond butter would be to just add like a, a seed butter. So you can do sunflower seed butter. You can do like hemp seed butter, pumpkin seed butter, whatever kind of butter of your choice. And that is the alternative. Do it deliciously, homemade or prepped, home prepped um, snack. Mm -hmm.